Guys, welcome back to Big O's channel. We talk about life, business, relationships. I've shared some dating stories that you can learn from. I've also done some reaction videos of things happening in social media and people in Tim industry that always find to be very interesting. <laughs> but in this video, we're gonna talk about a fact of life. Don't judge a book by its cover. Have you done it? But before we get into the video, I started doing YouTube, I make blankets. Check out my Instagram, Harlem Shet. It should be popping up right there. I make blankets for everybody, young, old, male, female. See if it's something you might be interested in. You know, if it is, hit me up on my Instagram page, inbox me, we can talk about it. So, don't judge a book by its cover, folk. Let's get into it, be right back. Welcome back to the channel. So let's get into it. Have you ever judged a book by its cover? You judged a person or a situation and you didn't have the complete facts? Well, I have. I'm gonna get into two quick stories. Maybe you can relate. It's gonna be real quick, real quick. Story number one. My godbrother and I was going to a business function. He had just turned 25 and I wanted to get him two suits. 100% wool. You know, if you know anything about suits, you want your suits to fit you good. 100% wool, that's a good start, right? So we went to 125th Street in Harlem between 7th and 8th Avenue to a store called Portobello. Portobello is a men's store. We could get pretty good quality suits at a fraction of the cost. So we walked into the store, me and my guy brother, and I told the guy I want a black suit and a blue suit for my guy brother. And it has to be 100% wool. None of that polyester crap. I want something that's gonna be good quality. Right? God looks at us. Now mind you, me and my girl, my god brother, excuse me, my god brother, we were both just regular. Sneakers and jeans. I had like my Yankee baseball cap on. So, we look, we look, we look now. If they're in sales, you know, or you know the price that's on the tag is not the actual price because I was in sales. And the week, actually a month prior, I went to Portobello. The suit was like $600, but I, you know, I talked to the guy. I kind of haggled, but I said, yo, this, this suit, you're selling for $600, but full fitty right now, cash. Guy said, no problem, right? Because I know in sales, whatever the price they sell in the store, let's say something costs, let's say $50, they'll mark it up by $100. So I said, yo, give me a, hook me up. Cool. So my god brother picked out a black suit and a blue suit. Walked up to the guy, said, listen, hook us up with a good deal. The guy was like, oh, no, you got to get three suits, three suits, three suits. I was like, we don't want three suits. My god brother wants a black suit and a blue suit. We don't want three suits. Yo, what's up? Hook it up, hook it up. Oh, no, you got to buy three, got to buy three. I said, all right. He's catching the attitude. I said, all right, whatever. So I talked to him. I turned my back. I went to my god brother. I said, yo, bro, you want this suit? Well, these two suits, he goes, yeah, bro, I want, I want both of them. I said, cool. I turned back around. The sales rep was talking to this guy that walked in. They ain't talking about socks and girls. We're standing there like, yo, he's not buying nothing. Like, what's good? We, 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 we trying to be paying customers. No problem. I said, bro, put those suits back. Walked up to the manager. I said, is this how you treat your customers? We, we're paying customers just because we're not coming in looking like all zipped down. We got money. The manager was no help. The manager sided with the sales rep. I said, no problem. Cool. I told me and my brother, we gonna walk down the same strip because the store was called Portobello. They owned another um, men's clothing store literally on the same strip, but it was about four avenues down. So this store was on 125th and 7th. They, the owners owned another Portobello on 125th and 4th and 5th, I believe. Walk to the other Portobello. I told the sales rep, yo, check this out. My god brother and I want two suits, black and blue, 100% wool, and it has to be good quality material. What can you do for me? Check this out, folk. We walked in there. The guy was not only more nice, more professional, more courteous. We got two suits, two dress shirts, two ties, and a pair of shoes. And a pair of shoes, my dude. You know? And we spent... And he got to tell it. We spent, I spent a little, about a thousand dollars. 
a thousand dollars. It was supposed to cost about fifteen hundred, but because the guy hooked me up, I gave the guy a hundred dollar tip cash. Right? Got the suits. You know, we waited an hour. We went to go get something. He came back, got the suits. I said, "Yo, bro, we going back to the other Portobello and show him how they miss out on the sale." So we walked, took the suits. The manager rem remembered us because you know his sales job was being a, a behind hole. I wish I could say what I really wanted to say, but I'm not gonna say it. I said, look, boom, show it to him. Um, um, bro, we showed them the suits, the shoes. I said, you missed out on a good sale. It felt real good, real good, you know? They judged us. I am telling you he judged us. He figured um, two young black dudes coming in, ain't got no money, they're gonna have them. Mind you, I had, a, had cash and I had a credit card on me. Credit cards, plural, you know? and. I was like, yo, whatever. I was I was prepared to spend about fifteen hundred, two thousand anyway, but they lost stuff on that sale. That's the first story. Story number two. I used to work in home um, home renovation, right? And one of the products we sold was flooring. Guy walks into the site, and I'm not gonna lie, he looked like he was straight off the street. And I'm talking about not like construction dirty, like you know when construction. When you're in construction, you get that, that that look like you were in construction with the dirt and everything. He looked dirty, dirty. And I said, this guy ain't got no money. This guy ain't got no money. He, he gonna come here and waste my time. He started looking at Brazilian Walnut. Um, side note, if you know anything about flooring, which you probably don't, you know, most people don't. But in most houses, the floors are oak. Oak is harvested in America, like from Denver, Colorado. It's, it's, that's one of the most easiest woods to get. Oak, red oak and white oak. So most floors in America, if they have floors down, like hardwood floors, it's oak. This guy was looking at Brazilian walnut. Now, oak floors go for anywhere from two to four dollars per square foot. So if you do simple math, if a house is a thousand square feet, two dollars per square foot, the floor is gonna cost you two thousand dollars. Simple math. Brazilian walnut. That is a hundred percent harder, more dense, and harder to get because it comes from Brazil. Starts so a good Brazilian walnut floor usually starts at eight dollars per square foot. I'm like, this guy ain't got no money. Please. He asked me a thousand questions. I'm like, this guy's wasting my time. Coming in here looking dirty, look like he off the street. Asking me all these questions, and I can't kick him out the store. You know, I can't kick him out. So he finally asked me one more question. I'm not gonna lie, I was short. I was short. I said, yo, you gonna buy something? The guy, thank God, took it as a joke. <laughs> took it as a joke. He said, all right, I want 8,000 square foot, square feet, excuse me, square feet of this Brazilian water. I said, stop playing. 800 square feet? No, he said 8,000. 8,000. I said, all right, cool. I'm not gonna lie. I, I checked myself. I said, damn, y'all. All right, don't judge a book by its cover. But then, I still judge a book by its cover because by the time we got to the register, I said, well, how you gonna pay? You gonna finance? Because they had they offered finance to the company I worked with. He goes, no, I got a card. The black card. He said, boom! I said, oh! What? I, I, I gotta tell you, I was like, damn, and I, that experience reminded me, never judge a book by its cover. You never know what's going on with somebody. Now, being a new YouTuber, you know, I see it on, on YouTube all the time. Check this out. Go on YouTube and just type in Gold Digger. I love these skits with these guys. Pretty much, it's a guy in the street. He tried to talk to a pretty girl. She walks by him, ignores him. She usually says, oh, you broke, you this, you that, you skinny, you broke, you ugly. She tries to play the guy. Normally the guy goes, okay, okay. He goes, no problem. And he starts walking to his car, usually a Bentley, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, an expensive car. And then that same girl or woman who, who dissed him, ain't wanna show him no play, comes running back. Running back, oh, this your car, this your car, this, this, this. And I love, I love these guys. They, they let them get in the car and they go, you're a gold digger, get out of my car. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's a bunch of them on YouTube. Just go on YouTube, type in gold digger. It's a, it's a bunch of guys doing it. 
These women are judging they got uh, or judging these men based on the first appearance. You don't know, you know. So, <laughs> just a quick reminder: do not judge a book by its cover. You could be missing a blessing, an opportunity, a relationship. Everything isn't always as it seems. You know, you have to do your due diligence. But don't be so quick to judge people or situations. You don't know. You could be missing out. So, <laughs> so I just want to share that quick two stories. And, and hopefully, if you have any stories you want to share, please drop a comment down. You know, I want to hear some of your stories, some of your experiences that, you know, maybe you, you was quick to judge something or someone and you should not have. You know, drop a comment, you know. So, because <laughs> I want to hear this. Because I, Lord have mercy, I know it's a bunch of people who've done this. But anyway, with that being said, you know, if you like the video, like, comment, um, like, comment, share, subscribe. And until the next video, peace and love.